WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's Monday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 30 minutes into the trading day. We got markets starting off to the negative. Dow Jones off 149 points right now, trading at 26,772. You get the S&Ps negative by 17, trading at 29.73. NASDAQ negative by 78 points. Apple getting hit this morning with a downgrade. We'll jump over to them in the morning. NASDAQ trading at 8,083. NASDAQ off about 1%. Russell 2000, negative seven points at 1568. We'll start things off this morning. Let's take a look at the VIX volatility index, get a little negative action in the market. You're seeing a little bit of elevated action in the volatility index, 1424. We actually reached a level of about 1450 on Friday. Start it off. Let's jump over to the charts. We'll start it off with the Dow. And there is your chart for the overnight action. So last night, we opened things up at about 26,898. And from there, pretty steady decline. We did get a bounce from about 2 a.m. up until about 4 a.m. But from there, the market trades lower. And we're getting a bit of a pop from a low of 26,744, up almost 40 Dow points, 26,781. NASDAQ 100 kind of sells off right on the open. We'll jump over to Apple. You'll see Apple sold off right on the open as well. They're definitely contributing to that NASDAQ 100 number. NASDAQ trading at 77.83. S&P is trading at 29.77. Apple hitting that as well, I'm sure. Apple down about 2% right now. Crude oil, check that out. Quite a run. Even since 8.30 in the morning, you trade from 57.31. We're now up a solid 90 pennies from that level, 58.18. Gold contract reached a high this morning of 1409, currently trading at 1402. And there's your Euro US dollar trading at 11216. As I had mentioned, we'll start off with Apple getting a downgrade by Rosenblatt to sell on fundamental deterioration. So they're talking about within the next six to 12 months that Apple is going to face slower growth on their iPhone sales as well as other areas. And to jump over to Apple's chart, quite a hit and right on the opening bell so uh it traded lower but man quite a sell-off and the other news of the day you got out there deutsche bank as they are going to be laid off about 18,000 people spending about eight billion dollars to restructure their company until 2022 and the market a little worried about that news down more than six percent as deutsche continues to struggle stay tuned folks come back at 10 o'clock with our man basil chapman filling in for tom live programming all day have a great monday